Welcome back everybody. Today I've got an unboxing of the Beatroot Tank Drum Amazing Instrument. So I'm going to show you right now. Welcome to World Drum Club. I'm Kalani. So let's get this open. And first of all, I want you to see this. Look at this box. Right off the bat, see this notch right here? That's so it doesn't rub on the instrument inside the box. So whoever designed that, good job. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna unbox this real quick. So here's what you get in the box. Uh, oh, first of all, I don't know if you can see this. Over here, you get the manual. So I'm gonna pull that out. And it, it's made in France, so you get the manual, which is in English, and then you get the Manuel du Price in Maine, or whatever that says. I don't know. Price in Maine? No. What is the price in Maine? Probably the same as California. Okay, so we're going to look at these in a second. Let's get to the good stuff. What's in the box? All right, so it comes in this ooh, substantial bag, uh, carrying bag, and... Well, before we, before we get in there, let's just look at this. All right, so there's a handle, Velcro handle, really nice. Uh, strap, carrying strap, also with a pad, shoulder pad. And then a pocket here on the side, I guess for your mallets if you want. And let's get into this. Feels good. The zippers are solid. Hello. Um, so you get a couple mallets. These remind me a, a little bit of gong mallets. Um, so they're wood. They have that's a nice touch if you want to hang them on something. Um, they're cloth covered, pretty firm. They feel like we'll hear them in a second. And then let's get this instrument out. That's fun. <laughs> All right, you can see something going on in there. We'll talk about that in a second. And here is the instrument. So let me make sure this is in tune. In tune, I mean in focus, hold on. Looks like it's in focus, but I'm gonna refocus. All right, so here it is. Here's the side view, you can see. And this instrument, you can see has eight notes. Let's just give it a listen right out of the box. And here it is with the mallets. So nice, kind of a bell-like sound, very pure sound. You can definitely tell it's metal. It's got a long sustain. And a unique uh, arrangement, if you are familiar with some of the other tongue drums, you'll notice that this one, or tank drums, this one uh, has the notes arranged from low to high this way, uh, which is interesting because not all of them are like that. Some of them are like an X, you know, like the happy drum is like an X, and then they have the other notes kind of interspersed. Um, I think there's pros and cons to that kind of arrangement. This arrangement makes it pretty easy. It's logical. You can see the notes. Uh, some of the other drums, you can, um, you have to kind of memorize where the notes are ascending. Um, it's just different. So let's flip this over. I'm going to get a, uh, some foam here, because so I don't want to damage the top. But let's turn this over. And on the way, I'm just going to point out a feature here. Uh, this is, you can plug it in. So there's a jack right here. Um, and there is a pickup contact mic inside. Um, you can't really see it, but it's right under here. So it is electrified. Um, now, 
let's take a peek. I know it's I know it's a little far away and I'm I can't really move the camera closer, but maybe I can focus it down in there. Not really. Okay, so what's going on inside there? Something very special. So I want to show you. I'll just I'm gonna grab these. These are come on, little guy. Wow, they're strong. Um, <laughs> these are there's little magnets inside there. You see that? And they're quite strong, actually. Um, so they really stay put. And what I'm going to do right now is grab them. I'm going to take all three of these out. Hopefully they won't get stuck together. Although they probably will. All right, so you get three magnets. Now look inside there, and you see the colors. You see the little... Um, and then down in here, look. See that? So there's little half moons. And there's a couple over here. See, there's two, two little red ones. Let me hold this up. Two little red ones, a green one, blue, and yellow. So primary colors. Any others? No. All right, so what you can do, listen to this. I'm going to start off real simple here, is there's a menu um, on the inside. I don't know if you can read that. Um, maybe not. Let me see if I can do this. Hold on. I don't know how this is, if this is going to focus, but for you guys, I will try. All right, there we go, kind of. All right, well, anyway, you can see there's a list, and there's different combinations of colors, and those represent where you can put the magnets to get different scales. So this is very exciting, um, because this is tunable now. So what I'm going to do, um, where's my manual go? Hold on. Let me grab this. Manual falling down. Okay. Um, the manual also has a uh, kind of a recipe. Let me show you. It'll show you right here. And so this is a multi-scale instrument. And depending on what you can do with what you where you put the magnets, you get these different scales. And in this particular arrangement, you you can have uh, well they've outlined six. Alternative scales, oh, I'm sorry, six scales total. So what they call um, the main scale, which we're gonna go through these, or at least some of them. Uh, the main scale they have is called happy, and that is what we heard already. So let's check that. So this is the happy scale, it's just a name. take two magnets well let's no actually let's try one because it starts with one so there's one all right oh sorry I'm just learning now <laughs> let's try so we're gonna go with the next one down which is called Zen and in that one actually most of these you need two magnets for so in Zen you put a magnet on the green and a magnet on the yellow so I know you're not going to be able to see this real well because I'm going to stick my hand in here. But see, there's the green and there's the yellow. So I'm going to place the magnet down in here. And what's nice is, is that is not just a, a flat label. That's actually got a little slot in it. In other words, it's raised. So it makes it very easy to place the magnet because you don't have to guess you can just slide it in there I'm gonna put the third one back in there so you can see now that I've placed the yellow magnet there and the the green or the uh, the magnet in the yellow and the magnet in the green now let's give it a listen That is so cool. Let's go to another one. So it's this is exciting. And they tell you exactly what the notes are in the manual, which has also slid down on the floor. I'm not going to pick it up right now. I only pick up manuals once a day. All right, let's go to the next one, which is called Tribal. 
And that's both of the reds, the two red slots get a magnet. Oh, there are some that use three magnets. So yeah, let's go, we'll go to tribal. Now these are just names. I mean, I don't, I think they're just, they just characterize. And you know what? I'm gonna take it off the foam. I, I had the foam here, so I wouldn't scratch the top, but I think we're done with that for now. So I'm gonna place it down on the little rubber feet and it may have a different sound. So here's the tribal tuning. Let's go to another one. Let's add a magnet into this mix. And if we put the green one in plus the reds, they're calling that space. So let's hear what that sounds like. Ah, a little Star Trekky. Let's do one more. And let's do, oh, Melancholia, that's exciting. <laughs> so I'm assuming, oh, Melancholia doesn't use the reds. It uses blue, green, and yellow. So let's go with that, that should be pretty different. So what's fun about this, you guys, is you get to, um, you get to, you know, tune the instrument. So you're really getting you know, many instruments uh, in one. And this isn't the only tank drum that has magnets inside, the tunable ones. Some of the aqua drums have that. Some of the other uh, drums that are out there have different tuning systems. What I really like about this one is that they have these little slots in there so it makes it super easy and fast. There's no guessing uh, as to where they go. Also the sun drum, which is right back here, uh, you can kind of see it, it's over here. The sun drum is, gets tuned with magnets, that's wood. Uh, but he, this is the Melancholia tuning. Let's listen to this. think the beetroot tank drum comes with mallets comes with a manual which likes to fly onto the floor it's only two pages I mean <laughs> it's light what can you do and it's windy in the studio so all right what do you guys think um I will do more videos on this where I plug it in I'm not going to plug it in right now I mainly wanted to share the instrument with you show it to you, but I will do another video where I have it plugged in and we'll do a sound check of that as well. But what do you guys think? I think this is pretty cool. And I'm, I'm looking forward to using it with some of my other instruments and doing some exotic tunings, having some different options there. But uh, leave your comments below. If you have questions, you can contact Beetroot at their website. I'll leave it in the description. Uh, if you like this video content, Give it a thumbs up. It's down here somewhere. Make sure you subscribe and hit the bell if you want to get notifications when I publish new videos. Um, thanks for tuning in. If you like this kind of content and you want to support us and you want to connect with me more, um, you can do that at patreon.com slash Kalani. You can direct message me over there. Lots of courses over there exclusive, uh, exclusively through our Patreon site with and when we have live courses, Zoom meetups, etc etc all right merci beaucoup everyone i'll see you soon